Hey, friends and clients, Jeremy Larkin here, of course, at the Larkin Group at our headquarters downtown St. George. I just wanted to address uh, the NAR settlement that many of you have heard about, this commission's lawsuit, and what it means for buyers and sellers. You know, there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of misinformation, and there's a lot of confusion about how this came to pass, why it is, and now what does this mean? Does this mean that sellers don't have to pay commissions to buyer's agents? Does this mean that buyers are writing a check for their own commissions? I want to dispel some rumors and talk about what this looks like for you moving forward. I'm going to read to you some actual official statements from the National Association of Realtors. But first, let me set up how this happened. Over the last 30 to 50 years, and guys, these statements are mine. They do not reflect. <laughs> I'm not an official spokesperson for the state of Utah or the NAR. Over the last 30 to 50 years, we had a system that actually worked really well in which uh, when sellers listed their home, they signed a contract with their listing brokerage, agent, but brokerage. And in that contract, they would commit to sip to pay a percentage of the sales price to the agent representing them as a seller, the listing agent, and a what they would pay to an outside agent representing the buyer, a buyer's agent, or sometimes they call it a selling agent, kind of confusing, what they would pay to that outside agent. Well, this system worked really well, and it was really clean because what happened is at the close of sale, the buyer wasn't writing a check, right? The buyer came and they funded the purchase either with cash or with a loan, and then out of the seller's proceeds, they would pay two agents, they would pay the title company, the mortgage company, all the, and they'd pay off their loan. It was clean, right? Well, the confusion started to happen in that as an industry, I think that a lot of the time what was communicated to buyers was, oh, you don't have to pay a commission. The seller pays the commission. Well, if the buyer funds the deal, the buyer actually, the buyer actually paid both commissions, quite frankly, if you like in a roundabout way, right? But they funded it, right? Moving forward, right, what happens? Well, they felt like there was a lack of transparency. And in some states, not in the state of Utah, I feel like we are really transparent here. In some states, sellers felt like they weren't aware that they were paying the buyer agent's commission. It feels crazy to me because in the state of Utah, our agreement very clearly, you had to sign that you acknowledged that you were going to be paying an outside agent, right? So we had a lack of transparency. This lawsuit goes forward. There's a settlement. Here's what this means. Real estate agents who use and list properties for sale on a multiple listing service. That's what we do here in the state of Utah and St. George, the Larkin Group. Okay, A local marketplace used by real estate professionals will be required to enter into, into written agreements with buyers before touring a home. These agreements must include a specific and conspicuous disclosure of the rate of compensation the agent will receive and how this will be determined. Okay, Compensation that is objective and not open-ended. It can't be like up to a certain amount or whatever the seller's offering. It has to be specific and defined on the front end. A term that prohibits the agent from receiving, from receiving compensation for brokerage services from any source that exceeds the amount or rate agreed upon in the agreement with the buyer. For instance, if we sign an agreement with you as a buyer on the front end that we'll get paid 3%, we can't take four. Even if the seller said, we'll pay four, we can't take any more than the three. A conspicuous statement that broker fees and commissions are fully negotiable and not set by law. Commissions were never set by law. They were never actually defined anywhere, but standards start to be created in, in any industry, right? So we're like, oh, 6%, that's standard. Well, standards get developed kind of inadvertently in any world and in any business, okay? Commissions were always negotiable from the get-go, always negotiable, okay? That's number one, right? Number two, Sellers never had to pay, pay a commission to a buyer's agent. They never did. But I think it was conveyed in the industry that like, well, you don't have to, but you have to, okay? Moving forward, here's what you need to know. If you're a buyer or a seller and your agent is using an MLS, you'll need to sign a written agreement with your agent before touring a home. Even if you only want to tour one home, you are required to sign an agreement that at least says that, you, that you're in a limited showing agreement. I, I, there's a term for it. But it would say, hey, I'm, I'm only seeing this one home with this agent. I'm not contracting with this agent for any other services. Written agreements are required for both in-person and virtual home, home touring. So if you call an agent from Timbuktu and say, will you please go and look at this home for me and shoot a video, that agent, you have to sign an agreement that you that agent's going to go tour the home for you. Even if it's 
not in a, a longstanding agreement if it's for one home. Agent compensation for home buyers and sellers continues to be fully negotiable. When finding an agent to work with, ask questions about their services compensation in these written agreements. Okay. And for more information, you can go to facts.realtor.com. Let me say this moving forward. Our stance at the Larkin Group, I was born and raised in this town. I'm sitting at the corner of Tabernacle and University Avenue. I am six blocks from the home that I grew up in until I was 10. I'm ten, eight blocks away from the home I lived in until I became an adult. I am on a block that my father owned half of with his brother for Larkin Plumbing and Heating. We love this community. We love our clients. Our stance has always been to get our sellers the most money when representing sellers and to get our buyers the best possible deal. A deal is the sum of the terms, price, right, dates, concessions. In every case, it has always been our stance. We will continue to maintain that stance that we, our goal is to represent you in the best way possible. Our stance has always been that sellers almost always benefit by offering some sort of compensation to outside agents to bring buyers. We want every possible buyer and agent to see your home. Those fees are going to be negotiated in the process. In some cases, you will negotiate them literally at the time of offer. But our stance is we want to help you. We want you to get the best result, whether you're a buyer or seller, either way. Finally, none of us have been here before. This is brand new, right? None of us know what this looks like. We don't know what it feels like. We don't know what it works like. But I promise that we're committed to figuring it out with you, okay? Moving forward, commissions will not be displayed in the multiple listing service that outside agents are going to get. And if you have questions, call us, visit us at gostgeorge.com, reach out to me directly on my cell phone. Let's get on the phone or let's sit down in one of these cool little rooms. One has Snow Canyon on it and one has the tabernacle on it. Let's sit down and walk through it so you understand what your rights are. But the bottom line is there is more transparency than ever in the real estate industry, and I think it's a good thing. Jeremy Larkin, signing off.